It is day three at IHA's annual conference, and it's been a day full of specialized working group sessions, joint symposiums, plenary abstract sessions, and much more. This morning, MPE's board member, Barbara Lonardi, was one of the chairs of the session on myeloma, focusing on difficult to treat populations. The session addressed the treatment of frail and elderly patients and highlighted the latest advancements in treatment protocols designed to improve patient outcomes. Phase 3 IMRA study results were also presented today, comparing isatuximab, ortezomib, lenalidomid, and dexamethasone, known as ISAVRD versus VRD, for transplant ineligible patients with newly diagnosed myeloma. VRD is a current standard of care, but this study introduces isatuximab, an anti-CD38 monoclonal antibody to the regimen. We interviewed Dr. Thierry Facon, professor of hematology at Lyle University Hospital in France, and he explained with isavrd combination, the median progression-free survival rate was not reached, meaning that more than half of the patients had not experienced disease progression by the time of the study cutoff. For the VRD combination, the median progression-free survival rate was 54.3 months, and the hazard ratio was 0.596. This means that there was a 40.4% reduction in the risk of disease progression or death for the ISA VRD group compared to the VRD group. According to Dr. Facon, this is a very impressive study result for progression-free survival rate. You can watch the full video interview with Dr. Facon in the MPE YouTube channel. Stay tuned as we continue to bring you the most important updates from the 2024 EHA conference. We'll see you tomorrow.